Ciao, lovelies. Hey, I am going to flip the camera around. Oh, look at my hair. I should have looked in the mirror first. Anyways, I'm going to flip the, ta the camera around and give you a quick tour of the garden. The back garden, at least. Let me, uh, let me go over here. My mom has a bunch of barrels. They're empty and we're going to go through them. All right. Now, let me turn it around. All right, we got some big old sunflower boys. Big old guys. They are, you know, almost as tall as I am. That's pretty good, I think. All right, and we got a couple more over here. And then we have, these are random babies that I get. I got some, some of these that I didn't have. And this is now a year old, and then those are babies. We've got the Brussels sprouts are getting and going. Super excited about these guys. Then there's rosemary and a witch's money bags and some basil and witch's money bags and basil and lettuce and then mint and garden sage. Yeah, right there. And then... Brussels, 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 pretty face, Brussels, 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 Brussels. And then here's, ah, pretty face. Here's the backyard. I brought my spider plant outside, figured he needed a a little, a little extra light. Oh. And then we've got a very sad fern that I'm going to pot up. And then these are my cuttings that I'm selling. There's nine pots of pothos, one philodendron, or jars, one philodendron jar, and then two jars of basil. Ostrich fern. And I don't know what that one's called anymore up here. And then some more hostas down here. And then we have random baby philodendron I'm starting. A uh, Hoya. I don't know what this one is called. But whatever it's called, I love it. Because it is just fantastically beautiful. I love it. Like, this one was green, but as it goes, it's getting prettier. I just dig these. All right, another hanging basket. Pothos in the tree up here. He just chills in his pot in the tree. <laughs> and then we've got the tur turtle vine. There we go. And then we have, this guy is fern leaf cactus with some zigzag pieces, zigzag, rick rack. See this, this is the rick rack. This is the fern leaf cactus. Then we'll just keep coming down here. That is an autumn fern. It turns orange in the uh, in the fall. Back in there is the fire pit. You can see the fire pit right here. This is hemlock. It's very sad. It died. It died and there's only like three or four coming back and I'm just really sad because it's so pretty but don't touch it. Please don't eat it. It will kill you. That is real. All right. We've got elephant ears. This year, they are going into this pot because they got big. They got big. And they just keep growing. My little sitting area down here. And then we have another elephant ears. Well, hun, you want some help? There we go. These are so cool looking.
Got a sunflower sneaking up in here. All these amazing leaves. Love it. And then, exciting for me at least, is that I had talked at some point about getting my loofah to crawl up onto the tree because the cattle panel wasn't tall enough and I needed some extra height for it possibly because I was hoping it would go, wow, I was hoping it would go nuts, but it worked. Okay, so the cheating worked. Look, look. All right, so we start here. There's some in the pot I started and I started some in the ground just to be sure. Now it goes up. And there are so many vines now. Now I'm looking straight up the canopy and oh buddy, look, it's attached to the tree. Oh no, you can't see it. Okay, hang on. All right. Oh, there you go. It is attached to the tree. I am so excited. I am so excited. Yeah, so it's already up and over the thing and that is awesome. Awesome. More hemlock. So pretty. Grape, not doing so hot. More sunflowers. Oh my gosh. Why? Look what they're doing. Look at this. How am I supposed to have any seeds if you guys eat them all, yo? Oh no. I'm going to have to come do that. Harvested all the potatoes. Now we have a couple okra, broccoli, cauliflower, another pretty girl. Super pretty girl. And then over here is the cantaloupe. It's finally taken off. You can see it on this side. We got flowers going. We got, we got some winding in and out, finally. And then one of the basils on either side. And then these are all peppers. These are all peppers. There's two in, two, 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 two. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 peppers across here. Another basil. We do have some peppers coming. Aren't that cute? And then we have a couple other little, a little babies starting. I'm very excited about peppers. These are orange and red bell peppers. Taking forever to take off. You can see the cantaloupe coming through from the other side. Lots and lots of flowers. This basil is flowering. Flowering. <laughs> Mint one, mint two down on the other side. Here's the cucumber. I have just harvested everything and I'm waiting for another crop, but this cucumber is doing fantastic. Fantastic. Got a couple leads happening. Like here's another one right here. And I know there's right here. Come here, bud, come here. The whole idea is you go up. Look, I can't do this with one hand, so you're going to have to work with me. It's hard with one hand. Uh, uh, see if I can't get that to stick on the end. Now, on this side of the trellis, I planted Roma tomatoes. And... I just wove it in and out of the trellis, just like you do. You can see lots of tomatoes coming. Lots of tomatoes. I'm gonna do it at an angle so you can actually see them. Mm -hmm. Lots of babies. Oh, look. Some have ripened, but not as many as I would like. But if you look up in here, I got I got all sorts coming. It's very exciting. 
All right, now I put two cucumbers in the middle and I'm gonna, you can see it goes up and then it goes down. And then what will happen is I will eventually, oh, come on now, don't attach to him. No, 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 don't do that. Here, we're going to, excuse me real fast, I'm gonna unwind that from the tomato leaf. All right, don't, look at you, you're making, there we go, all right. Don't attach to the leaf, because what I'm gonna do is tuck him through here. Ha ha, there we go. And then he will start going back up this way. So I'll just go in, I'll put him up and down, up and down, up and down this way. That guy will do the same thing coming from this direction. They will meet in the middle there somewhere. And then this guy over here, even though there are other heads, like other stems coming up, I'll do the same thing. Go up and down, up and down. Like you can see this guy. Now he's going down and eventually he will like that. But for now, oh look, I missed one. Ha, awesome. There are lots of babies getting started in here. Oh no, oh crap. I thought I got, okay. Well, I was trying to get all the big ones so they could, the other ones could grow, but more Roma in the middle. And then another cucumber on this end. And again, we are doing up and down and up and down. And that's how we're gonna do it. Don't you dare sneak back in. You're going up and down. And then another mint. And then we go down this way. Oh man, this guy's got, look, one, two, three, right here. Right. And then there's another one, two. And then we've got another guy starting right there. Oh, here's a teeny tiny guy. Look, that's so cute. And then on this side of the trellis, I planted, okay, let me think. This is cherry tomato, cherry tomato, uh, beef steak, beef steak, cucumber, cucumber. And then we have a cherry tomato, a cherry tomato, a cherry tomato, a cherry tomato. Oh my God, a cherry tomato. So there's like four beef steak right here. That's aroma. This is beef steak, beef steak, beef steak, beef steak. And you can see they are not huge because I put them in last, which was a mistake. But you can see the aromas coming in on this side. And then we got some, some other guys and some other guys. It's all very exciting. All right, well, here's the other side of the big 13. This is 13 feet from here to here. Yeah, 13 feet from here to here. <laughs> so that's fun. All right, now in the middle, we have hostas with my mom's birds and a little concoction I put together. Just some sedum and some other stuff. It's a perennial, so I just leave it out here and it comes back every year. Comes back. Now we're getting to some of the fun stuff. Yeah, there's the train set, but you can't see it because of all the barrels. My mom's black lace elderberry. Can you even see that? There you go. That's better. Black lace elderberry, which is money bags. See them, see them, see them, see them. Which is money bags, which is money bags. Which is money bags. Just different varieties. I harvested potatoes from these three. That's what the pretty picture was. And uh, some from that bed down there. That's how I got the fun picture. Now these are empty and I get to fill them with something else. But while I'm down here, 
Oh, here's this. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's white and it's super pretty. It has like white flowers and it's super pretty and I know the name. So I'm gonna stop thinking about it and it'll come to me. That's, that's how that works. Usually how it works. <laughs> All right, let me pull some back. Boy, this thing. What is this called? Oh, Spirea. That's what it's called. For those of you yelling, I got it. I got it, Spirea. Now, I don't know what this one's called. I have seen bushes, and I mean literal. I have seen huge bushes of it, and my mom liked it, so we put it in a pot, and it's been in the pot since she moved back to America, which has been like seven years. I've upsized it twice, and it just keeps getting bigger, but it is a bushy shrub. Like, it's no joke. It is not a, it is not a small one. It gets monstrous from what I've seen on the side of the road because it is the exact same thing. All right. Now this is ginger. Nana, I got a bunch of ginger going. I'm so excited. Now I'm hoping, you see that? And this right here, I'm hoping that's the turmeric. There's one, two here. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I have turmeric. Because I put turmeric and ginger. Wait. Ginger. I hope that's what I said, because now I can't remember. Turmeric and ginger, but the turmeric is taking forever. Now, since I'm here, this is my zucchini, one of my zucchinis. And I just want to show it to you because of how big it is. Hang on. Let me... Oh, my gosh. Dude. All right, so... That's the stem and it's crawling down and you can see, oh, uh, I need to get rid of that guy. That guy did not get pollinated all the way. Now, see all these little zucchinis? These things get humongous. But that's what the plant looks like. It's crawling. There's two more. Oh, and there's another one back in there. Awesome. But this thing is crawling out of the pot. It is. You can't see it. Hang on. There. It's like, ugh, crawls out. Now, here's another one. I'm going to go around to show you that one. Because there's one, one in a pot here, one in a pot here, and one in a pot here. This one is doing the same thing as the other. Straight crawling straight crawling out crawling out there's already three or four there's so many this thing has just been producing like crazy but to give you an idea it starts up here and it just kind of comes down and then it comes down and it comes down it's gonna keep growing that's what the three of them look like on my porch <laughs> And then we're not going to talk about my mom's tomatoes because she did nothing to this. And it is laden with fruit. It is the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. I fed this like crazy when she wasn't looking and she's so happy that it's, it's so big. All right, now here's the zucchini from the back. So literally grew out of the pot, over the side and down. But this guy, check this out. This guy grew and he's growing, but he's split in two, two. So now I have this one that's going this way and this one that's going that way, but they're both producing, I mean, zucchini. This is Black Beauty zucchini, by the way. And then this one again planted it here it's over here so whatever it wants to do very sad blueberries more decor here's one of my can vintage candy dish project turned out kind of cute not a lot lived i'm gonna have to go get some more stuff to fill it in if you know what this is i'd appreciate it 
because there's like two in here and both of them seem to be going pretty good but we don't know which either one is because they haven't flowered here's this guy he's just this one is just fun it's just in a long thing it was a canvas it is a canvas on the other side i bought it for the frame and i just planted it all right strawberries all three strawberries and then i think that's really it i'll to give you a, a quick throw around we've got brussels sprouts over there the trains over there there's one of the trees with some stuff some more trees with stuff the entrance to the fire pit is beyond that my little area where I do homework most of the day and then the rest of the yard and then the porch Whoa, with pretty face all right guys Hope you enjoyed it. Everything is growing and I'm super excited. If you have any ideas what I can put where the potatoes were, I would appreciate it. Um, looking for maybe, if it's not a vegetable, then maybe a perennial. That way it'll just come back because I like to keep all my pots outside. That way they, my life is easier and I just have to water it. So, from my face to yours, I love you. We will chat soon.